Hey y'all, um, welcome or welcome back. Um, this is my video. I have a lot to talk about. So obviously um, it's Pride, so happy Pride when this video is up. Um, I know like the New York trade is going on. Um, today there's either the March or the parade, but either way, I just am not feeling up to it considering the Roe v. Wade news that broke on Friday morning. Um, and I went out for that and I showed my body and like was physically present and protested and I am feeling a bit drained so I just won't be making it out to pride but regardless I just wanted to sit down and make this video and talk through a lot of things and make some art <laughs> I have a canvas here in front of me that I've been working on we'll see if the vision comes through because I'm, I'm really not like a painter or an artist but I'm just excited to make art when the world is falling apart so that's gonna be today's video. I'm just gonna talk and paint and you know, I'm on a little bit of a micro dose of shroom. So we'll see where my mind goes. It could literally go anywhere. I have a lot on my mind. For your sake and for mine, if these are topics that you don't feel comfortable hearing about or discussing, um, then I ask that you just go ahead and leave this video right now because I am gonna say a lot of things that a lot of people will not agree with and I don't want to be a source of negativity for you and you for me so let's just respect each other that we're here in this moment we have different opinions and that's fine but we're just gonna leave it at that so i think i'm doing like a bunch of faces so right now it's all just like circles but i think i'm gonna start adding faces i think i went a little ambitious and i wanted to fill the entire canvas with faces but sorry if you can hear my um my roommate and her girlfriend they're like they're playing games i think i think they're playing just dance um cute where to fucking start you know it's not easy being a woman in the united states of america like in the first place yeah so it's already tough enough being a woman in the united states and like having the gender pay gap and child care isn't paid and you're expected to do it for free for your children like no paid maternity leave and like no healthcare in general, but then also, obviously, Friday's decision of overturning Roe v. Wade, which I really don't think people understand the full implications of. It is a an amendment about privacy. It's not just abortion. It's not just pro-life, pro-choice. It is so much more than that at the end of the day. It's really like now, I don't have the privacy to choose personal decisions for myself and the government should never ever overreach and overstep those boundaries but with this overturned decision they are they are now legally able to and also mind you let's in the big picture whether it's abortion rights or not this is the first time the supreme court has taken away a constitutional right if that doesn't shock and jar you to like wake the fuck up there is no american dream like this is actually fascism that's happening in front of us then i don't know what to tell you like you are probably a part of the problem if you genuinely think the united states supreme court and elected officials have our best interests at heart because honestly and truly at this point they don't it's really about how can they get the most out of their term and how can they get the most donations and how can they keep the revolving door open and allow so much fuckery to go on and they are not affected because they are rich and white and upper class for you know the most part like a lot and they're old so they don't have the same threats to their humanity that the rest of us do and you know i've cried about this i've raged about it i've whatever whatever but at the end of the day what is it gonna take for us to mobilize and guys like this is where my big kind of spiel lies is like we have faced the black lives matter police brutality movement and that was massive and huge and invigorating and a real sign that grassroots change and organization can mean life and death for some people in a positive way like that laws have been passed changes have been made but then we're also facing 
the climate crisis at every turn of the road like that's not going away and the only thing we can do about that is actually start giving a shit and doing things about it because the solutions are there it's just a matter of implementing them and then now you have constitutional rights being stripped away from people in general like privacy is a people issue it's just really tough to take it and feel like you have to take it but that's only because the government has upheld this belief system that the only way you can get change is through nonviolent means and i feel like this is gonna perk a few ears up or like take people back a little bit but honestly the only way in my eyes to bring about meaningful change is to damage property and hit them where it hurts which is their wallet and maybe burn shit maybe riot like yes people will get hurt but also like they're the ones who militarize the police force to suppress these peaceful protests these protests are peaceful up until the point where your police are nudging pushing dragging people handcuffing people that are giving out water it's like it's not the people that are violent it is the militarized over industrial police force that you've got and you know we're still kind of running in circles with like defund the police and we don't mean completely defund it and like not give them money we mean reallocate those funds to child care after school programs community centers things that will actually change people's lives in meaningful ways rather than having more cops on the block who just stand there and let subway shootings happen and let women get raped and let all of these things happen without really blinking an eye or giving a shit and that's what's tough to swallow is like i'm sure you yeah, know you know a good cop or two who doesn't like i'm sure there are a few out there but why do we need so many why we really don't and it's just this like this fear-based system that we're running off of and people are refusing to see love and be love and give love and honestly like a lot of our elected officials are fearful for their power for their next term election so they're like worried about fundraising all the fucking time when really I want to see you actually live up to your word and make policy change happen. And we're not seeing that. We're not seeing that from a lot of our representatives. So I think Democrats are just as complicit in, in this decision making process as any Republican out there because what are they actually doing? What have they actually done? And it makes me lose faith obviously in the American system. We are very slowly and steadily crawling towards fascism and that reality shakes me very deeply because it's not something you would have ever expected here, but it is happening. And I think if you are denying that it's happening, you are very, very asleep and very sucked into the propaganda already. I would love to see a study or some sort of essay done comparing like Nazi propaganda to American propaganda now in this day and age and point out the similarities to people because I think they really truly are missing that connection that Hitler was voted into office like lest we forget it's just a lot of like chilling realities that you think we would have learned from our mistakes but no we are continually banning books genocide against indigenous peoples and their knowledge and their wisdom and it's just a really big shit show and that's why I think being violent is partially a solution because it like if we can mobilize as a civilian force and you know stand up and be present and be physical they can't shut us down not all of us and also let me make a very very important point it is my white people that need to be on the front lines because you know black and brown people are fucking marginalized and oppressed on the day to day but not only that when they present themselves they are in so much more danger than you and i so if you are white, you need to be on the front lines, point blank period, there's no other way to put it. If you truly are an ally to the cause and you want to show solidarity, you need to put yourself on the front line, you need to be that barrier, you need to actually show up and not just tweet about it and not just repost. And I'm trying to be better about that myself. Going to abortion rights protests yesterday was very like, 
calming is not the right word, but it really grounded me in the moment and it really showed me how many other people are there and how big this is and how many people it affects. It affects everybody. It's really, because now from here, they're now discussing same-sex marriage, same-sex relationships, contraceptives, any sort of anything that has to do with your private decision, then they're gonna fucking take it from you. And, you know, I, I really respect religion. Everyone has their own beliefs. I completely understand that. But this country was founded on the basis of religious freedom, secularity, separation of church and state, and now you've taken your Bible and have imposed it on my body. It doesn't make sense. It's not okay. It's not right. Keep your religious beliefs within your community and within your family, but you cannot tell other people what to do with their bodies. It is not yours. I am not an incubator. I am not going to contribute to the exploitation of the lower class because had I had a child, what would happen to me a few years ago is I would have been in that poverty cycle and I would have just not been able to get any childcare, probably would have had to move back home, raise a child with my family, not graduate college, like. Da -da -da -da, it keeps going. That's who this impacts the most is brown and black people, people of color, poor communities because what's happening is this is honestly just to keep the machine running and it like I don't know if this is too much to handle, too much information, but this is how I see it. All that the GOP wants to do is have poor women, poor people, continue producing children who are going to stay in this low income middle like lower class kind of standing to where the only option they have is to be exploited for their labor and that they can't escape and especially if they're continuously having children of their own and it is capitalism it is fascism and it is time to burn it all down that might sound scary because we don't know what's next, but it's got to be better than this. And I think before religious times, actually I know before religious times, there was the worship of the goddess and the matriarchy. And that is how things were run for hundreds of thousands of years. We've been in this religious state for like 2,000 years and it has seen the most like genocide, war, famine, ripping families apart, people apart, prosecution, murder, all of these things because of the patriarchy and like it's just absolutely absolutely insane to me. We need to abort the patriarchy, burn it down and it's gonna take some massive fucking moves. I know that and this is like all very strong language but it is how I feel and it's a lot to grasp and a lot to handle. I understand that because I've been thinking about it for the past years years i've been like oh my god we need to burn this all down it's very tough to imagine though a world after this and where we'll go from there so i understand that but we'll see you know we can only move on from here we can't keep taking steps backwards we can't keep being corralled into peace and oh you know Biden being like keep these protests peaceful like they're scared they are scared that we're gonna burn their shit to the ground and they fucking should be because we will we need to that's the only way we're gonna escape this continual machine that grinds people down to nothing but their labor and nothing but a number we are humans we love we connect we unite we are there for each other there is community and they cannot take that away from us so probably the best thing for you to do and the best thing for me to continue doing is to connect with your like-minded communities organize something within yourselves and get the ball moving, spread the word, whatever it is, whatever makes you feel fulfilled and driven and passionate, follow that spark, follow that intuition because we need more people like that. We need to be doing more life-saving work at the end of the day. And, you know, I'm not shocked. I'm really not. I'm not surprised. I wish I could, I wish I could be surprised, but I genuinely um, am not and you know that also hurts is knowing that my government is gonna let me down but also like it is what it is for the time being 
there are things that can be done and will be done. Well, I've made my way to the park, set up my little hammock. Um, I am having some like paranoia because every time I see the NYPD or park ranger come by, I feel like they're gonna tell me to take it down. But I'm just out here journaling my feelings away. So, yeah, that's gonna be all for this video. I just thought like I wanted to make art today and no better way to like paint, write, do some video work, um, speak my mind, and just get my thoughts kind of out there for the world to hear and judge me on. But no, I'm really not worried about that. I just thought maybe we could start a conversation about some of these things. And um, I don't know, if you ever feel like you're alone, you're not, you have me to talk to, DM me on Instagram, earth or nothing, um, if you ever need a friend and you just feel alone, you're not. We are. 110% in this together, all we really have in this world right now is community. So I'm definitely looking to build and be there for one another. And that's really all I want to say today. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, comment down below hammock. I'll, I'll know who the real ones are. <laughs> I know this is probably a doozy and a lot to ingest and digest, but that's going to be all. I love you all so very much. Don't forget to be kind to yourself be kind to others and be kind to the planet and I will catch y'all in next week's video. Bye! Mm -hmm.